Welcome back. We are doing the recording of today. That is 13th of November's God you can see. Now Supreme Father over here is mentioning that either it is very easy to forget things and then make mistakes or it's easy to remember things and avoid mistakes. So it is us. So it's all about forgetfulness or remembering things in life. So as to keep a balance in life. And this is what he wants to touch in today's blessing so that we become like a diamond by remembering that yes our thoughts our words and actions are being washed and if we forget then we'll have to pay for it and if we remember then we are moving in safe waters so let's see what does Supreme Father have to say he says may you be free from the cycle of remembrance and forgetfulness remembering what I'm an actor you're an actor the way we are acting over here depends upon what we have learned. Either we have spiritual knowledge, divine knowledge which is guiding us on a daily basis and on the basis of that we are deciding what kind of actions and what kind of reactions are we doing and what are we getting back in return. And every time we are remembering and we are sensitive to what kind of feedback is coming to us, we will decide how we react. But provided is something in between from action and reaction. There is wisdom. And that wisdom comes when we get godly guidance on a daily basis. So it's all about remembering that godly guidance and remembering the Supreme Creator. So he says, May you be free from the cycle of remembrance and forgetfulness and make your life as valuable as a diamond. The confluence age is the age of remembrance. But this is a time of great transformation. It's not a transformation of a just self. It's about the transformation of the complete world. The world is moving through a shift. It's not a technological shift only from a material point of view. It's a conscious shift. Consciousness of human beings is shifting to a higher consciousness. Either it's getting derailed or it's moving ahead. It's going to get a few jolts like COVID, World War One, World War Two, and that is that jolt is going to awaken people from moving away from the material world, moving away from the worldly world and getting into the inner world of spirituality. So Corona was another jolt. And are you going to wait for another jolt or not? I hope not. If you forget and you wait for another jolt, it could be too late. So God, that's why is saying, the confidence age is the age of remembrance and the iron age is the age of forgetfulness. So we are not in the iron age or Kalyuk. We have actually transitioned into the confidence age. An age where it's like a boat, Noah's Ark. You sit on it and you cross the iron age. You cross the tough seas. Or you don't sit on it and the sea takes over you and you drown. As simple as that. So if you remain constantly aware of your elevated part and your elevated fortune, you are as valuable as a diamond. Because we are focused and everybody's watching us. How do we think? How do we behave? How do we talk? How do we act? Everybody's watching. And if we become examples for everyone, then we are a diamond in whose eyes? Exactly. Supreme God Father's eyes. So, God says then, whereas if you forget this, you are a stone. You remember the stone age? It's not about the stone age of the stones where you use stones as a tools only. It's about a consciousness which is like a stone. Nothing is understood. You're doing karma with greed and anger and jealousy and hatred and everything else. And you are like a stone age. That's what God says. God says you become like a stone aged person. Or you are a golden age person, God says who is very careful about their thoughts, their golden thoughts, golden action, golden words. And you are very careful what you do. And if you make a mistake, you immediately into asking for forgiveness. And you are giving out blessings. That's what a diamond is like. A diamond is always giving out blessings. God then says, this is a game of remembering and forgetting. Those who live at the conference age can never go on a tour of the island never go back and dwell into the past behaviors, past reactions and actions. Before they got the spiritual knowledge, they were different. But now after getting the spiritual knowledge, they are so much involved in the beauty, in the feeling of lightness of the spiritual knowledge and the lifestyle, that getting back into the old ways, waking up late, sleeping late or eating anything which comes in front of you or talking anything or complaining or blaming or getting angry or getting greedy or jealous or anything that is the old iron age those souls can never go back to that kind of lifestyle again 
So then God says, this is a game of remembering and forgetting. Those who live at the confluence age can never go on a tour of the iron age. If your intellect is even slightly pulled there, you will be trapped there. That means the consciousness will get stuck there into those habits. Because there is a lot of splendor in the iron age, isn't it so? You know, every day new phone, every day new technology, every day is something new fashion. Every day something new is coming and that is attracting our eyes and our senses are controlled by outside stimulus instead of being controlled by I the soul and you the soul. So God says, because there is a lot of splendor in the iron age, but that is deceptive. What is true and what is untrue? It's not easy for these physical eyes to know, but for the inner eye of spirituality. The soul within you is the third eye. Only that third eye can learn the wisdom. And your physical eyes don't have the consciousness to decide what is right and what is wrong. But you, the soul, are there to guide your eyes, your ears, and every way you can find out what is right and what is wrong. Provided you have the tool of wisdom with you. You have the tool to decide what is right what you want to inculcate and what you want to remove and that comes with this godly spiritual knowledge which you get and you receive in Brahma Kumari's godly spiritual university for free in 150 countries provided you take out your time and plus an added advantage if you're a Christian if you're a Muslim who's listening to this you don't have to leave your religion you will become an elevated being in your religion you become an elevated being in your own Christian religion or a Sikh religion or a, another religion which civil religion you belong to. And that's where spirituality doesn't change anything. It changes our lifestyle, our way of thinking. Do join us and also join us on Sundays. We are talking about anxiety. Today we had a lovely session. Next Sunday we are going to have another session number two in the series on anxiety. Do join us and get in touch with me on this WhatsApp number. Leave me a message. I'll send you the link. With this, Om Shanti.